I believe so many spirits in the nature. Spirits of the trees, spirit of the creek here and mountains. So when I come here, I feel like I become a part of the nature. Yeah, this is totally my sanctuary here. And really, the beauty of nature helped me. Wataru Sugiyama moved to Ashland from Japan more than 30 years ago. He was pursuing a degree in speech communications at Southern Oregon State College and had to take an elective. And I chose ceramics. I didn't know why, but I think my universe guided me. I really like hand-built three-dimensional uh, sculpture and I just uh, got into it. So I'm doing like a sculpting life for 28 years. I used to be a civil engineer, making a good money, a lot of materialistic life, but my heart was very empty. So I came here and I'm very happy now. It's easy to make the mistake of thinking that Wataru is creating this turtle figure. But what he's really doing is helping it to create itself. And then just to gently bend it. <laughs> Informed and animated by unknown spirits, Wataru's creatures come in an endless variety of forms. There are owls, and elephants, and a frequent visitor to Wataru's world, the rhinoceros. There are fierce dragons, wearing slippers, and scholarly turtles. There are even tiny dogs discussing literature under an umbrella on top of another dog. They definitely come out from my inner child. I try to integrate my mature part and uh, very playful you know, inner child part. But I admit it, I'm age of 62. I think I still have very, very uh, immature part. But this age, um, I don't care. I just live my life who I am. Whether mature or childlike, Wataru's work is following a long tradition of artistic mastery. I believe inside the stone there is a spirit or wisdom or you may say soul. One soul lives here at the Ashland Public Library. Wetaru comes to visit often. Water, I feel like purifying the soul of the stone. I start with the conversation with the stone. He guides me what's the best way to shape it. Until I hear that voice, I don't want to touch it. And I just chisel it out. Mm, where should I stop? And Stone told me, Wataru, thank you. This is enough. It's beautiful now. The beautiful moss growing around the bottom of the sculpture. I think my spirit and soul maybe dwell inside my sculpture. An ancient soldier stands steeled for battle. When something happens that changes his fate forever. This white bird is flying over him and just come to his hand. So that moment, this awakening happened, he get back to humanity, back to his heart. This takes generations or generations, many centuries goes by. Finally, the white bird is sitting on the broken soldier's sword. 
overcome. Twenty-two years ago, oh, my father died, and I went to the funeral, and I really realized that I didn't know him. After that, I'm very far away from my mother, so I had a chance to go back home and ask her so many questions about her life. I have three sisters, and I have one brother. I'm the youngest, but she painfully confessed I could have a younger brother or sister but my family is so big and she cannot handle it. So she aborted. So I feel like, I, mean, I never knew that story. And this piece is like really my true feeling, but it's very deep. I want to just really express my pain and compassion to my brother and sister. Also like a mother's pain too. It must be very, very painful, but she had to make a decision that's why I have a really, really strong feeling in this one here. And Stone accepted. You know, okay, what are you do? A few years ago, Wataru's mother passed away. I went back to my homeland to say like a final goodbye to my mom. I was not able to accept my mother's death and I lost the motivation to continue my career. I was down. Wataru was in Kyoto to see a sister when he heard a voice calling him from a nearby mountain. Hey, Wataru, come, come, come. Very, very strongly, I felt this mountain invited me. Following the voice to a temple, Wataru stood before the altar. Suddenly, I am not able to explain it, the feeling, but I feel very energized. In that moment, it's like I feel like totally more than 100% recharged, full of energy, and encourage me to get back to the U.S., continue my mission. What emerged was a spirit that embodied his mother's strength and stability, and perhaps a touch of whimsy. I just created like a rhinoceros with a Japanese kimono on, and the purpose is to heal my pain. Like the soldier, Wataru's rhinoceros is visited by a small bird. I'm wishing this bird guide my mother's soul back to her home. Wataru is now casting the rhinoceros in bronze. Looks like an orange juice. <laughs> no matter how many times I try, <laughs> it makes me very nervous, but uh, I like this kind of ten tension, you know. To complete this rhino sculpture, uh, we have to pour another maybe 10 times more, and it's going to turn really beautiful. And then I feel like, oh my God, just like a new life was born. I enjoy making a sculpture, but sometimes my sculpture can do something, good things to the people, make them laugh, make them smile, make them feel sad. People are like moved or something. I feel like I finally understand why I was born, my mission. I never heard it when I was an engineer. <laughs> no, they feel moved by looking at my blueprints, you know. I cannot quit my career anymore. I'm 62, another 20, 30 years, until the day I return my soul to the universe. Let's go.